Hello, welcome to DTS Tech Bit. Today we are going to be covering a revision session and we're covering the BTEC Unit Technology System and its Unit 2. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our awesome educational videos on this channel. The lesson objectives for today is one, we're going to identify at least three technology systems and how they are used in different sectors. The second one we're going to do is that we're going to discuss issues affecting the technology systems. The first task we're going to be working on today is, and you might want to pause the video at this stage, is that you're going to write down four ways that you can think of um, which technology systems can be used in each sector below. So you can choose four out of the five sectors. One will be construction, two finance, three manufacturing, health, and the final one is retail. So pause the video and write down four. If you can get to five, that will be awesome. So see you in the next section of the video. These are some of the possible answers you might have written down. For construction, we use systems to plan projects, create architect drawings using CAD, and to track spending. Finance, we use it to track and monitor the prices of stocks and shares. We use it to calculate the effects of interest rates on loans and savings. In the health sector, we use it to scan patients using life support systems to monitor heartbeat or breathing. For the manufacturing sector, we use it to design parts for production and to control robots on production line. And finally, for retail, we use it to track sales or at tills using point of sale systems, which update stock records and produce reports. Uh, and we also use it for advertising. For this next task, you want to write down two issues involved in the use of technology system. You want to put them on these two headings. Environmental, computer security, and copyright. So think about it, pause the video here and write it down in your books. Some of the possible answers you might have written down or you may consider are, and you need to remember that technology can be both environmentally friendly and unfriendly. So it creates sustainability. For example, video conferencing reduces the need to travel. There's also the sending of documents by emails. It reduces the need to use paper or storage. It can be bad for the environment in that using electricity essentially if computers are left turned on overnight, yes, so it use up a lot of electricity if you leave your computers even plugged in, it's still using power. There's also the fact that computers produce waste heat, which then need electricity to cool. Issues involved in the use of technology system continue. So for computer security, threats will include hackers, viruses, or other malware. There's also prevention methods that can be utilized. These are antiviruses, firewalls, strong passwords, and level of access. For this task, you want to write down reasons why organizations want to improve and develop technology systems. Pause the video again. So you know you have a lot of pausing to do because you're revising, you're writing, you're reading, and you're listening. So, one, it gains competitive advantage over their competitors. It reduces costs and it improves performances. 
this is a example of a exam question that you might get as well so if you want to pause the video here read it and try to answer to see if you got the answer correct So I hope you got that correct. This is another possible question that you might get in your unit two exam. So think about the answer and see if you can get it correct. So the section on the health and safety, there are several laws that ensure organizations make their technology systems safe for staff. Write down three ways employers can make technology system safe for staff members. Again, remember to pause after each task or while you're writing up each task before you get to the next slide. These are some of the possible answers and you might wanna take note of these for your information systems. So information must be stored and kept secure using passwords. Users accessing systems should be authenticated. Users accessing systems should have different levels of access so that users are prevented from viewing sensitive information. Another sample. So I hope these are helping and I hope you're trying to attempt them before you view answers. Hope you got those correct. Finally, this is a summary. You wanna answer these questions in the comment section of this video. And remember to like, share us out and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the awesome videos we have here for you. See you in my next video.